whoever succeeds David Cameron, I think, is going to stick to this proposed timetable. It is the only card that Britain has got after all. And so they're going to come into office saying, we will trigger Article 50, but this will be a long, drawn-out process. Now, the, as for the future of the Conservative Party, it, the party has got a choice. It can either go for a person who appeals to the heart of the Conservative Party, and that person would be Boris Johnson, uh, or it could go for somebody who is a more unifying figure, and that person would be the current Home Secretary, Theresa May. If the Conservative Party chooses Theresa May, I think it does have a future as a political force in Britain, and the, the change will be, I think, fairly minimised. If they go for Boris Johnson, there is a risk that the party is going to embark on an exciting road to oblivion, because Boris Johnson is an extremely divisive figure in Britain, and over time he's going to become more divisive, not less. However, he's the darling, the favourite of Conservatives who w want Britain to leave the European Union, and they do have the majority of votes out in the country. The Conservative Party is firmly in favour of Brexit. Therefore, I would say that Boris Johnson is the favourite, but I would have to say that he would be a very dangerous choice for the party.